I think that more and more uh, mainstream media is, 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 is going to have to hire more Latino journalists in their mm -hmm. newsrooms um, because sooner or later um, we have to look at this concept of us versus them as all of us being them and, 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 and stop that division. Um, and one day maybe we'll stop calling it uh, mainstream media because we will be part of mainstream also. Uh, in the meantime, um, there will continue to be hyphenated Americans. So there will be Hispanic Americans, African Americans, uh, Jewish Americans, Italian Americans, um, because that's just what this country is all about. So as far as the future of Spanish language uh, television and media in general, I think it's there. I think that people will always speak Spanish, even though the younger generation, the younger generations are speaking more English. Um, because of our proximity to Latin America, I think Spanish has become a very powerful language. It's part of our culture now. Even if this country resists on making it a bilingual country, um, by law, I think just uh, it, it is definitely. In, in fact, I would recommend many um, English speaking um, uh, people in this country to learn Spanish because you have a whole world in your backyard, a whole continent that you can be doing business with and that you can be communicating with and you're not because you're limited. Mm -hmm. So I've always told my daughters, if you speak two languages, you're worth for two people. So I think that, you know, the language is going to continue to, 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 to it's here to stay, it's going to continue to thrive, and, and there's going to continue to be a future in Spanish language uh, media. Maybe one day we'll be uh, bilingual, and maybe one day I'll be able to speak Spanish on the air. I would love that. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, the United States, part of the United States is already bilingual. I, I'm not sure if this is going to become a Latino country or a bilingual country, but if you go to areas of Miami, Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, it's already bilingual. I think the future is very clear, even though the majority of the growth of the Hispanic community comes from people being born into the United States. The, every single year, there's one to two million immigrants coming to this country. They speak Spanish. So the future is assured for Spanish language television. It won't disappear. It'll just, it'll just increase on one hand. On the other, there's always the possibility that the cooperation between the United States and Latin America um, would be so good that one day maybe we'll have the, the kind of agreement that nations have uh, in European. Europe with the European with the European Union. And finally, I, I still remember the words of Cesar Chavez. Once he said that I've seen the future and the future is ours. I'm very optimistic about the future in this country because I I see that the future that he was talking about it's happening right now right now and i do see a hispanic president and i and i do see a country in which uh latinos would would not would not even feel that they are a different group or category that they'll simply be be americans i when i talk to my kids uh nicolas he's puerto cuban mexican american and paola is Cuban, Mexican, American, and when you ask them uh, how do they feel, they say, I'm, I'm an American, what do you mean? Mm. So I think that's, that's precisely the future, a future in which those divisions that we feel now and the discrimination and all the, the fights to get where we are would be only a thing of the past. And one important thing to note about the Spanish language is that if you took all the Spanish-speaking um, uh, population in this country and, it, and made, turned it into a country within a country, it would be the second largest Spanish language uh, speaking country in the world after Mexico. So that's how big mm -hmm. we are here. That's, that's the kind of impact that we're making. We're a country within a country and trying to blend in. Mm -hmm. And it's working. That's kind of hard to say because there's always something coming up and, there's, and, and we're always looking for room to grow. I think conquering the new technologies is, is probably one of those things. But, you know, continue to communicate with our, com with, with our community. Um, I think, like I, I've said in the past, one of the most important things to me has always been, you know, to continue to, to empower um, Latinos. Maybe now we need to focus a little bit more in, into specific groups and I would like to focus a little bit more on Latinas because I see that, that, that women, especially Latina women, are thriving in this country and they are becoming the most important demographic as voters, as consumers, 
um, as decision makers, I think that something happens to women when they cross that border and, and they are submissive when they are in their own countries uh, pop, uh, because they come from macho societies. And then when they cross the border, something uh, transforms them into these powerful women that are there uh, to become leaders of their home, of their community, uh, to get involved in their kids' school, to start businesses and, and become the heads of, of their homes. So I would love to, in, in the future, focus a little bit more on, on educating, inspiring, and uh, empowering uh, Latinas as a whole. So that's one of my professional goals. But you know, there's, I think there's always something to do. And, and those of us who work in this business, I think, always are looking for, for new things. And we don't even have time to stop and plan for the future. I mean, I can tell you that I have been working for, for this company for 34 years. And I don't know how it happened. I mean, I remember the first decade and then the second one went like this and then the third one. I, I can't imagine how this went by so fast because there's so much to do that you don't have time to stop and think and plan because you have to do what you have to do. And you have to have a goal in mind, but that goal is just doing the best that you can every single day, making an impact in society every single day, making a difference in your community every single day. Well, the first goal is not to become a dinosaur. Uh, we have to reinvent ourselves, otherwise you won't see us here in, in, in a few years. If we don't understand the impact of new technologies, that millions of eyes are migrating to the cell phones, and that they are not making an appointment to watch us at 6.30 every day, then, uh, then we'll be dinosaurs. So the first goal is not to be a dinosaur in the next, in the next few years. I think that Another, another wall I would love to, we've been fighting for immigration reform and to legalize our neighbors and our friends for so long that that's, I'm, I'm hoping that, that this country will be as generous with those immigrants who came after me as, as it has been with me. So I really hope that at one point that, that is going to be possible. And personally, I just hope to be able to report uh, and to cover the election of the first Latino president. So if I can do that, I'll be fine.